undocking. The ground handling officer makes sure that the path of the airship is clear of obstructions, both on the hangar deck and overhead. He checks the hand flag for wind at the hangar opening and the streamer pennants above the hangar door for backdraft. In this case, the streamer pennants show a backdraft. The ground handling officer orders the aft doors to be partially open to reduce the backdraft. The backdraft is now under control. The handling lines at the tail of the airship have been connected to two mules. The petty officer aft gives the signal, ready aft. The pilot gives the clear to undock signal. The ground handling officer instructs the tractor driver to proceed to the side of the hangar favoring the wind. The mules, under the direction of the petty officer aft, move with the airship and control the movement of the tail. If at any time it appears that the airship is going to strike the hangar, the ground handling officer will stop the tractor. Far less damage will occur if the tractor is not in motion when the airship hits the hangar. This is the critical period of the undocking operation. And the airship remains in danger until the mast crosses the safety guideline and clears the turbulent area. It is always essential to reduce to a minimum the time during which an airship is in a potentially dangerous situation. As soon as the tail is clear of the hangar, the mules allow the airship to vane into the wind. When it is considered safe to do so, the mules are ordered to disconnect the tail handling lines. The airship can then be moved to a designated area and prepared for takeoff. 